Hello, I'm Eric Monroe, Director of Sales at Keith Monroe Company. I'm going to take you through a tour of some properties that we've uh, painted. This is the lumber yard on uh, Highway 101 in Encinitas. A beautiful property. There's brick facade that we had to be careful of. We had to work around the patrons during normal work hours, which was a little bit of a challenge, but we did a great job doing it. We prepped and painted the wood trim, and there's a lot of it. You can see the, the beautiful colonial look that this property has, and I think that we did a good job enhancing its beauty. This is a uh, kind of a commercial barn property on the north end of the, of the property, and there were um, some real stain issues that we had to work around, we had to work with, we had to try to even things out. There had been a lot of uh, disrepair and fading that had gone over the years ignored, and so I thought we did a pretty good job. Next property is the Jack in the Box headquarters. We um, we had to enhance. We, we encouraged them to enhance the horizontal architectural part portions of the building to to stretch the building out and and make it look better. And I think that it worked pretty well. We also added encouraged them to add some red accents, which is their main theme color of their corporation. And so we were very pleased with the way that. Uh, that it came out and we're pleased to do the work for such a great corporation. The next one is Mission Valley Terrace. Um, it was an older, older commercial building, um, commercial condos, office condos in Mission Valley. And uh, there was a lot of stucco disrepair that we had to take care of and uh, blend the old stucco, the dash coat, which is, uh, can be a real challenge and we think it came out pretty well. Belmont Park uh, landmark in San Diego. Um, we went ahead and took a, a property that was just plain bland and added a lot of color to it. And you can see some nice before and after shots uh, where the color really added and gave it a lot of personality. The front boardwalk shot right here is really nice. The wave house. Um, this is a property that we did for BRE, and uh, Keith, you see right here, had to work and had to help them figure out where to put the 12 colors that the color designers wanted to put it. And you can see there was a lot of color added. And everybody knows this property. It's in Chula Vista. Escondido Village, we did this for a long time. A client of ours, James Crone and Associates. And we took a, a, a commercial a retail property that was pretty bland and we uh, added a lot of color, a lot of the gold earth tones that were very in vogue a couple years ago and uh, kept some of the green and I feel that we did a good job of uh, bringing all the colors together. Um, here's the Spires restaurant before and after shot which is right on the Escondido Parkway. The next property is the Timbers, and it's a 200-unit complex, apartment complex that we did in Oceanside. And we were awarded the project, but Mark Cheeseman of USMX Properties was not able to give us the go-ahead because he couldn't get uh, the Oceanside Planning Department to allow him to enclose the balconies. And he, he actually told me, if you can get them to approve uh, an architectural plan, you can do the job. And so after about six trips to the planning department in Oceanside, we were able to get it approved and move ahead. And uh, this property looks just fantastic. And you can see how the balconies turned out. Very, we're very proud of this property and the transformation that, uh, that took place. So thank you. Hopefully uh, you'll give us an opportunity to, uh, to do the same thing with your property. And uh, we will do a very good job. Thanks for your time.